migrants assaulting German train passengers. Why this is important is because it's something that's not being found in the traditional media. Okay, You're not hearing it on CNN. You're not hearing it on MSNBC. You're not seeing it in your local papers. You've got to dig on the Internet for it or listen here to the Savage Nation um, with Dr. Savage to find out these things. Immigration is Donald Trump's strong point. It's what kicked down the door. Well, he's got a lot of strong points, but it's one of his many strong points that kicked down the door to his candidacy and woke up the nation that he is just more a billionaire reality TV star, and he actually has great ideas and leadership quality. Okay, And he was focused on, he made the comment about Mexicans, which threw uh, liberals into a tizzy, a flash ahead, you've got the Paris terrorist bombing, you've got what happened, the terrorist attack in San Bernardino, and now we know about the Syrian refugee uh, problem with the Muslims coming over the border, raping and pillaging like they're the Vikings. And if you go to michaelsavage.com, click on the story, it'll connect you to uh, the Daily Caller, and it shows the footage. It's uh, Arab immigrants uh, accosting uh, two people. And, and they're elderly. And why were they doing it? Well, these two elderly people stood up for a young lady who was on the same um, the same train with them that these um, Arab immigrants, these uh, Muslim animals, were, were sexually groping. So the the two people, decent human beings, German senior citizens, stood up, and then they got pummeled for it. This is what's taking place. This is this is the, these are things that will eventually take you because the fungus, the cancer that is Islam, will eventually cross the ocean. It's already crossed the ocean, but it'll cross the ocean in droves the way it's going into Europe right now. MichaelSavage.com. Check it out. Arab immigrants assaulting German train uh, passengers. Your calls when we come back here. Lou Pate in for Dr. Savage on The Savage Nation. Join The Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. You are listening to The Savage Nation. Lou Pate sitting in for Dr. Savage, the home of diseases without borders. Uh, Dr. Savage's new ebook. You want to check it out, go to michaelsavage.com. Uh, the uh, hard copy or the actual book will be out soon. We'll have those dates for you. Just an ebook. I'm sorry. It's just an ebook. I apologize. Uh, I get ahead of myself sometimes. I still like, I, although I get all my news online, I still like to hold a newspaper, so I like to hold a book. But it is an ebook. Diseases Without Borders Boosting Your Immunity Against Infectious Diseases from the Flu and Measles to Tuberculosis. Check it out on michaelsavage.com. Let's get to the phones. Stephen, welcome to the Savage Nation. How are you? How are you? Hey, Stephen. Um, I just was listening to your opening monologue, and I find it really hard to believe that Trump is the only one on the Republican side that, if he gets the nomination, can beat Hillary Clinton. I just look at how the mainstream media is kind of being silent about him, and I really just think they're holding back, waiting to see if he actually gets the nomination, and then they'll just unload and destroy him. Okay, well, first, first things first. What could they possibly be holding back that we don't know about Donald Trump already? We've got divorces. We've got bankruptcies. We've got eminent domain that they have thrown everything at him already. His hair, even. His children. They, what, what else could they possibly have? Well, it might not be something new, but, you, I mean, you've got to imagine people from his past will come out of the cracks and be a lot more vocal about things he's done. I mean... There, there, you like the long list you just mentioned. That's just scratching the surface. No, but that's already happened, Stephen. When when he announced in June that he was seeking the presidency, nobody took him serious. When he made his comments about immigration and Mexicans, um, it lit it lit a it lit a fuse on people like myself and Dr. Savage in America, the silent majority, and who who have been pretty much oppressed uh, by the uh, Obama dictatorship. And then that movement began to grow. Still, the mainstream media, Democrats and Republicans didn't take it serious and then it just it continued to grow and then they're like hey we've got to squash this we've got to nip this in the bud and they have tried they have I believe they have thrown everything at him that they have already and to your other point Stephen who who's going to beat Hillary you think Rubio can beat her you think Cruz can beat her yeah I think both of them could yes and I first of all I don't even think Hillary might get the nomination she should be in prison 
I think I agree with you on that. We're kindred spirits on that. The media is not doing their job. The Department of, of Justice is in, involved in an in a, in a investigation right now. In my opinion, they're being held back by the Obama administration from indicting her because people such as General Petraeus have uh, faced charges for lesser crimes. It just came out last week. You know, more emails, 22 of them class for, classified. If you look at the New York Post, uh, there's a great article on that that talks about these emails and how I mentioned at the top of the hour it's a death sentence but rubio rubio's he's not you know christy called him a schoolboy. i'm down here in florida i'm in delray beach florida this is rubio country rubio peaked in 2012 uh romney should have had him as a vp nominee because what he's he's light-skinned cuban he doesn't even look hispanic so he's non he's he's non-threatening to to whites who might have a problem with that his name rubio doesn't even sound hispanic he actually is hispanic so he'll appeal to all the hispanics because for some reason minorities in this country Stephen, they'll vote for somebody based on the the color of their skin which probably has dr martin luther king jr rolling like a rotisserie chicken in his grave Who's going to beat him? Chris Christie? He'll sit on him. That's all that's, all that's going to do. But thanks, thanks, Stephen, from calling from WJR Detroit. Uh, let's go to Frank from uh, my native land of uh, WABC in New York. How are you, Frank? Welcome to the Savage Nation. Uh, good. Uh, Lou, I, I take a position uh, opposite to what this previous caller did. I, I think the guy that the media is building up is Rubio. And that is for the purpose of uh, tearing him down. He will be very easy to tear down. He's got stuff in his past. He was arrested. <laughs> for... Wait, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's not go there because you could, you could, you could heat of a presidential campaign. Come on, Frank, you could do better than that. Thanks for your call. Do appreciate it. I said that type of stuff. You know, that might have worked in the in the 1950s and 60s, but that's not going to stand war, uh, stand up now. And it, it's unsubstantiated. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Heck, you could put in there. X Y Z is you know gay and it's going to come up. It's it, the times have changed on that. Uh, those those days are over. Let's let's uh, go to the great KCMO Craig. Thanks for calling the Savage Nation. Welcome. Oh, we lost Craig. If you hit a bad cell zone or something, uh, give us a shout. Uh, Jacob, Jacob from the great state of Texas, the great city of Dallas, and Doctor Savage's new affiliate, his old new affiliate, KLIF. Welcome. How are you? I'm all right. How can I help you? Basically, straight to the point. I'm a young, um, I'm a young first-time voter. I'm 24. Um, basically, Donald Trump has made my interest put put me put my interest into the political world and all that stuff. I've been listening to um, Dr. Savage for about a year now, every day. Um, no matter what, I got to listen to a show. Well, on behalf of Dr. Savage and the team, we we thank you for that. I appreciate that. Now, what about Donald Trump, Jacob? A uh, lit a fire in your gut caused you to have an interest in politics because that's not easy to do with young people. Right, everyone, everyone my age is for uh, Bernie Sanders, and it's pretty much to the left. Um, my dad's uh, uh, always been a conservative Republican, so. I've always been taught well on that part, but um, he's just straight, Donald Trump's just straight to the point. He he, uh, he he's the man, you know. He puts off that persona. Um, and right, so it, listen, so so it doesn't. I mean, and this is not bad. It doesn't go very deep. You just like him, right? And likability is goes a lot towards electability, right? And uh, Ted Cruz to me. Uh, he looks like a vampire. He looks like <laughs> <laughs> Jacob. Thanks for your call. Do appreciate it. Welcome to the political fray. If you look at Ted Cruz, he says a vampire. When I see Pe Ted Cruz, I, I think of the the peristaltic movements of a snake. That's what it, a really slimy snake. Uh, it is truly amazing. And uh, you know, it's funny. He says uh, all of his friends. He's twenty four. His friends like Bernie Sanders, the huckster from the Lower East Side. Don't they realize that he wants to raise taxes $1.1 trillion? Don't they realize that he wants to make the tax break tax rate 90%? Gosh, it's not even like that in Canada. Let's get back to the phones here on the Savage Nation. Lou Pate here with you. Check us out on Twitter, at a Savage Nation. And, of course, dial me up right now. Why wait? 855-400-SAVAGE. Ann from WABC. Welcome, Ann. How are you? 
doing well. I'm just extremely frustrated. I really believe Donald Trump is the man. I'm as conservative as conservative can be. I'm pro-life. I want to overturn Roe v. Wade. No one is talking about that. But now there's a war on Donald Trump because he's not conservative enough. But let me just say this. We need to get a handle on this Muslim problem. We need to export radical Muslims. We need to investigate mosques. We need to shut down the terror training camps. We are in big trouble, and I believe Donald Trump is the only man that will expedite the process. I Listen, Ann, Ann, we are under attack by radical Islam. Radical Islam is as big a problem as is the failing economy. Um, I don't know if you heard Dr. Savage the other day, but he had a, a brilliant monologue, which is now up on michaelsavage.com, Purist versus Pragmatists. And judging by the way you feel, I, I could feel your frustration, but I could also feel your passion. Uh, do yourself a favor. Go to michaelsavage.com. Scroll down, because uh, it, uh, it has been moved down, because uh, other news items have come in. It's his monologue from the other day, brilliant, Purist versus Pragmatists. And it, it's, it's, you're, you're going to you're gonna see yourself. You're going to see yourself in his words on that, because... If you go straight, if, if the Republicans go straight with this hardcore, you know, n not bending, it's got to be a pure conservative, that's not going to play in California. That's not going to play in the tri-state area of New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. It, it, it might play in the heartland, but you're not going to get enough electoral college votes to, to win the White House there, and so people are going to have to be a little flexible. They're going to have, they're going to, have to bend a little bit, and let's face it, okay, uh, whether you're uh, pro-life or pro-choice, Roe v. Wade is not going anywhere. They use that fearfully every year. I'm not, don't, I'm not opening up a discussion on abortion. We don't have to go there. That's been had a thousand times. All of these different issues they, that they say, you know, the war on women and women's rights, um, if, if George W. Bush got in there or this one got in there, if any conservative gets in there, they're going to overturn Roe v. Wade. That's just used, uh, Ann, uh, uh, for political theater, for political fear. So... Donald Trump, I feel, is the only candidate who can beat Hillary Clinton, and Hillary Clinton will be, although she's running a little bit scared now, she's showing her fear. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, she, will, she will be the inevitable nominee. The queen will be coronated, Anne. Yeah. Well, I, I totally agree with you. I do. I agree with every point that you're making. And regardless about Roe v. Wade, you're absolutely right. And I consider myself a staunch conservative but a pragmatist as well. And I think that this country needs a man like Donald Trump. We need a presidential guy. And yes, he is not politically correct. And he speaks sometimes from the hip. But you know what? It's about time that we have that. We need Donald Trump as a president because this country is literally falling apart. And he respects the Constitution. And he respects everything about America. And I believe he loves this country. And he's a great businessman. And yes, he will talk to our enemy leaders to let them know that, look, we are America, and we have a military now, and we're not going to take your crap. Well said, Ann. Thank you for calling from uh, the great WABC. But really, check out michaelsavage.com, purist versus pragmatists. You're going to like what you hear. You're going to like what you read. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back with your calls, 855-400-SAVAGE. Lou Pate in for Dr. Savage. Follow him on Twitter, at a Savage Nation. Of course. Um, don't forget Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture. Uh, Dr. Savage does have his new uh, e-book out, Diseases Without Borders, but Government Zero is still there, um, making its way up the New York Times bestseller list, much to the chagrin of the liberals there. Um, your calls and more coming back. Lou Pate here with you in for Dr. Savage on The Savage Nation. Welcome back. It's the Savage Nation. Lou Pate sitting in for Dr. Savage. He'll return tomorrow. And remember, you can pre-order Diseases Without Borders at michaelsavage.com. And while there, you can subscribe to the Savage newsletter and get the latest headlines at michaelsavage.com. And, uh, you know, social networking is where it's at today. Michael Savage's Facebook, Dr. Savage's Facebook, is the one with his book, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture. Um, before we get to the phones, I want to announce that Donald Trump... Although the media is stomping and trying to stomp and trying to make him go away, has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. That's right. You heard it here on the Savage Nation. Donald Trump, who lost um, by a couple of percentage points in Iowa the other night, is back. He is attacking uh, Ted Cruz. He's calling him a, uh, a fraud. 
He is calling, saying that he stole Iowa by his nefarious acts, by uh, saying that Dr. Ben Carson had dropped out of the race, or his constituency has said that Dr. Ben Carson had dropped out of the 